Lev Parnas appeared on Anderson Cooper's show on CNN yesterday evening to explain that Lindsey Graham, one of Donald Trump's staunchest defenders in the United States Senate, was also involved in the plot to get dirt on Joe Biden from Ukraine. And according to this interview that Parnas gave, uh, gave to Anderson Cooper, not only was Lindsey Graham involved, he was actually involved and working on it before Giuliani tapped Parnas to come in and start working on it. Parnas claimed that uh, Graham had been working on this particular issue, getting dirt on Biden from Ukraine since at least 2018. Now Parnas did say that at the moment he is not certain of the extent of Graham's involvement. He doesn't know everything that Lindsey Graham did, and he never personally dealt with Lindsey Graham with regards to the Ukraine scandal. But he does know from Rudy Giuliani that Lindsey Graham was absolutely involved in it. And Lindsey Graham was the guy working on it before Parnas was called in. So if Lindsey Graham was working on this all the way back to 2018, that's right about the time when we saw that massive shift in Lindsey Graham, right? He went from, I don't know if I agree with Trump on these things to going golfing with Donald Trump, hanging out with Donald Trump, defending Donald Trump on all the cable news programs he could get on. That was right about the time people started wondering, I wonder what they have on Lindsey Graham. I wonder what's happened to Lindsey Graham. And then John McCain passed away and then Lindsey Graham went even more crazy. And if what Parnas is telling us here is the truth, and again, Parnas has nothing to lose at this point by coming clean, I think that kind of explains what happened to Lindsey Graham. Now, don't get me wrong. Lindsey Graham has always been a horrible human being. He was just able to cover it up sometimes. He stopped covering it up in 2018 is what happened. You know, he dropped the facade and said, this is who I am. I'm loud and I'm proud and I'm corrupt as hell. And Parnas is telling us now that the depths of his corruption, we didn't even fully understand yet. We didn't even know this. Now, the big question is, is this going to affect Lindsey Graham in any way? In the Senate, in the impeachment trial, the answer is absolutely not. Republicans have already done a pretty good job of trying to say that Lev Parnas is not somebody that we should trust, just like they did with Michael Cohen. Oh, look at him, he's a criminal. We can't trust him anyway, even though we all worked with him uh, for quite a while. So that's what they're doing to Parnas. But Lindsey Graham's already facing a very tough reelection in his state of uh, South Carolina. His challengers are raising money from all over the country. Lindsey Graham is a deeply despised human being outside of the state of South Carolina. So much like Ted Cruz in the Beto O'Rourke race, you got all this outside money coming in trying to help the challengers to Lindsey Graham because they want him gone. And this story, if somehow it can be proven accurate, could absolutely cost Lindsey Graham re-election in November. I know what a lot of you out there are thinking. You're thinking, wouldn't it be amazing if you could wear the Ring of Fire logo across your chest? Well, now you can just head on over to our Teespring page to find some awesome merch we're offering for our viewers. We have more designs that are gonna be added in the near future, so just follow the link in the description or take a peek at the shelf of merchandise under this video. Thanks for watching.